room and they're like oh my goodness somebody ran into the building somebody caught her on fire this and the third when i tell you like i was just like okay <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm your fave nurse B. So today I want to give you all the 100% like tea scoop rundown of how it was of my first day working agency. Like absolutely first day working agency. I've been a nurse for three years, almost four, it'll be four years in March 2019. And I've never worked anywhere but the nursing home that I work in. Now granted, I have worked for the same company, but I've picked up at different like locations. But as far as like venturing completely out of that, I've never done that. Even like as a CNA, like my whole healthcare career, I've never ventured out. Before we get into the video, make sure that you like this video. Hope your fave nurse be out. Also comment down below. I wanna know, is agency something that you would do? Are you interested in working agency? Have you worked agency? How was it? Was it crazy? Even as a CNA, like I wanna know what like what it was about so on this channel i do inspiration motivation and basically education anything really getting into healthcare, nursing cna cmt even if you're just interested in becoming a nurse you're in nursing school whatever the case may be i am your fave nurse be i'm here for you i will give you as much content information knowledge as i possibly can to help you succeed in healthcare. Did I say succeed? So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. Like, come on now, do it, do it, girl. So this is how it was. I called in to the agency and um, usually you can do it online, but something happened where they said you had to call in. So anyways, I called in, picked up the shift. I picked up a day shift. Okay, so before any of that happened, I had to work evening shift at my regular job the night before. So I got off at 11. Didn't get home till like 11.30, whatever. It had to be at that freaking place, y'all. They was like, oh, the shift starts at 6, but you need to come in an hour earlier for orientation. I was like, oh, so I had to be there at 5 o'clock. Granted, it's not too far from my house, but still, I had to be there at 5 o'clock. So I woke up at 4 o'clock just to get ready and make sure I got there on time. So, anywho, let's just bag back. When I got the email, so like after... You uh, pick up the shift with agency. They kind of give you like a rundown of what you have to wear and like what their kind of like their policies are, like where to park, things like that. And so when I uh, looked at the email that she sent me, it was like the pay for orientation. Yeah. For that one hour. When I tell y'all this pay was super low, I was like, do I need orientation? I just come in to work the shift. <laughs> but of course, she didn't tell me that over the phone. She was just like, oh, you just come in for an hour before orientation, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a separate video talking about like how I got into agency, like the process of getting to work for an agency and like my whole experience and how much I get paid in a separate video. So look out for that. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right. So anyway, who I get there at five o'clock, right? Hmm. So um, I find a nurse. And she's like, hey, I'm like, um, so I'm supposed to be here for, you know, orientation. I'm agency. She's like, oh, I didn't know anything about that. This is actually my third day working. Okay. <laughs> she's like, I'm actually the wound nurse. Like, they just asked me to come in and work because they were short. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Okay. This is nothing new. Like, I've worked short in a nursing home. I understand when nursing homes become understaffed, like, they will have a janitor up there charging the floor if they if they need to, if it come down to it. Like, I understand. Like, I see it. But anywho, so she's like, it's my third day. She was super nice, super sweet, y'all. Oh, my gosh. So, she's like, well, I can just tell you what I know. I really don't know that much because, like she said, this is her third day working. And she's a freaking wound nurse. Like, so she don't know. I hope my earrings aren't too loud. But anyways... So she don't know. So, so anyway, she like I said, she was super sweet. She was just kind of giving me a little bit of the rundown of how the facility works. And they do paper charting. In my job, we do computer charting. And so I'm used to paper charting because we literally just started computer charting like earlier this, this year. But anywho, so I was like, okay, you know, I maybe had like 30 minutes left of orientation before the actual shift started. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna at least go over here to where I'm supposed to work and I'm gonna like just go through the chart and kind of get an idea of what I need to do. So what I I went over there, I wasn't gonna say it was like a whole mess, but I just felt like it was too much going on. So I started straightening up, wiping down stuff, wiping down my counter. But yeah, I emptied a freaking trash can. When I, 
when I say like five freaking flies flew out of there, I was like, this is so disgusting, y'all. Like, come on now. Why is this, why is this looking like this? It was like part of like a treatment cart. It was so nasty. It had like bananas and it was gross. But anyways, I was taking out trash and stuff, wiping stuff down. <laughs> I had to get it situated, okay? So anywho, um, I got everything together to start going through my um, paper Mars and Tars and like, well actually just the Tars because they said they had a CMT. So I started going through the treatment books. That's what a Tar is, treatment administration records. So I start going through that and just kind of writing out, okay, here are my AccuChase, here are the room numbers that I gotta go to. So that way I know, okay, boom, I go straight to these rooms so I can get all my AccuChase done in time, you know, before breakfast. So start doing that and then my CNA start coming in for the day. The night shift CNA, like she was supposed to be like the night shift supervisor. She was super nice. She was like, oh, let me tell you this. You got, this is your book. So if you ever need help with something, it's like your reference book to use. And she's like, let me write out your assignments for day shift for you, for all your CNAs. Like sh everybody was so nice at this place. It was crazy. But anyways, she was doing it. I was getting everything together. One resident was asking for pills. I was like, you got to ask a night nurse because I, I'm still in orientation. <laughs> it wasn't six o'clock yet. Um, but anyways, my CMT came, she was cool. And she was like, if you uh, buy me a soda, I'll pass your meds for you. <laughs> Not like my narcotics, but she said supposedly like they had two CM CMTs at one point and they went down to one CMT. So nurses supposed to technically pass like regular pills to like a few patients on the floor. And she's like, oh, I'll pass them for you. Buy me a soda. So I bought her a soda. And she passed the pills for me. It's not like she passed like narcotics. She just passed pills that she would have passed anyways. And I'm sure she would, she does all the time anyways, because it's not that big of a facility. Um, but anyways, so that happens and everything cool, everything cool, you know, started doing my AccuChecks and it was okay. Yeah. When I tell you it started getting real. Oh, Another thing, so I'm in there, and I think before my orientation even started, y'all, no, it was the beginning of the shift. Why I run into somebody that I work with? So me and her, she used to work, I think she was just PRN. She was just PRN at the place where I work, you know, full time. And I saw her, I was like, oh my goodness, girl, like, what's well, so I hadn't seen her since I freaking had my baby. So, well, no, I think I had saw her a little bit after that, but it's been a minute since I saw her. I was like, girl, what's up? So we was kicking for a little bit and she was telling me because she worked for the same agency I work for, but she had ended up picking up at that place PRN and as soon as she picked up at that place PRN, it went agency. So she was mad because of course agency pays more than what she would get paid working PRN at that facility. So she was mad, but she was like, I'm here, girl, I'm here. But anyway, she was cool. That's why I think like when you work with people, like it's always good to just keep stuff like light. You know, just keep stuff chill, light, fun, because nursing is so small, y'all. Like at least where I live, nursing is super small. Like you never know who you gonna run into. So I just try to keep stuff copacetic, keep it cool, keep it calm. Like I don't try to keep no beef with people because it's just not important. Like it's, we work together. Like girl, you're not my man. Like I don't gotta be beefing with you. Like it's not that serious. And plus if I come across you one time and maybe you in a position higher than me or something like that, I don't want no beef. That's just, and I don't want no beef between nobody. But anyways, I saw her, so that was cool. Like, so, but she was working on a totally different unit. Um, but, but I still was able to see her throughout the day. Cause like I said, this place is small. So yeah, we going through the shift. Tell me why somebody falls. Okay. When I say she was literally at the nurse's station when she fell, I was like, this is crazy. But what had happened was right before that, I'm working, trying to get stuff together. Um, and then we just heard, pow! It was like a huge, like, pop, bang noise. I gotta make sure I ain't got no lipstick, no lipstick on my teeth. Was y'all gonna tell me? Mm, I don't know, was y'all? Anyways, so I hear this big pop, like a, like a combustion, but it just sound like, maybe it was like a, like a, what you call it, like, a stack of like plates like glass plates that fell like that's how it sounded but like more intensified and so people started it was like oh my gosh oh my gosh so people start like running over to where the uh, main dining room is so usually in nursing homes you have like a divisional dining room which is part of your small division um, and these are like patients who need more assistance with eating. You need to monitor them more. You need to make sure they're eating, things like that. And then you have the main dining room is for patients who are more alert. They can feed themselves. They're good eaters, that type of thing. So anyways, they rush over to the main dining room. And they're like, oh my goodness, somebody ran into the building. Somebody caught on fire, this and the third. When I tell you, like, I was just like, okay. <laughs> 
didn't care. I was, I was trying to get my work done. I wanted to leave on time. I wanted to get done like what I had to get done. I was not about to go over there. It was like, they need a nurse, they need a nurse. But when I tell you I look over there and the person who I told you I ran into that I know from my other job, she was over there and then she was orientating. So she was brand new too. <clears throat> Excuse me. She was orientating with a nurse. So I feel like both of y'all is over there in this situation like, y'all can handle it i'm over here by myself i'm agency i gotta get out of here on time and i just got done leaving my job yesterday at 11 o'clock and i got here at five o'clock so y'all can handle whatever's going on over there so i mean the building didn't catch on fire i don't know if it was like a family member they kind of got what happened and they ran into the building i don't know i honestly i didn't even figure out what happened i just i did see a vehicle was like next to the building i really i i didn't care to be honest i Honey, I was unbothered in the complete sense of what that means. So, I'm over there doing my work. And when this happens, there's so much commotion and everything that the resident by the nurse's station, she was next to another resident. And she, they was like, oh my goodness. They was like starting to cry and like get kind of like hysterical kind of. And I was just like, no, it's fine. And the other lady was like, no, it's not fine. It's like she was kind of like egging on the late the other lady and i was like no it's fine everything is fine everybody is fine you know you're here with me we're safe yada 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 i get up and grab some do something come back this lady on the floor i'm like oh my gosh like really and the other lady that was like amping her on to be even more anxious she gone somewhere i don't even know where she at and i'm just like really so we get her up okay she's cool she's fine everything copacetic start working on that then um because, you know, when somebody falls, you got to do, like, a fall packet, all this good stuff. So, this happened. Then I checked, like, a, like a little bit before that, I had checked my one of my patient's um, blood sugars. Sugar was super freaking high, like, in the 500s. I'm like, what the heck? So, I um, I get a whole, I get, make sure, I gave him his insulin and everything, and he's cool. He's talking to me, communicating everything. So, I, I talked to the MD, let the MD know, and, and the MD's like, um well he's never that high what is what was it yesterday i told him what his sugars were granted the day that i worked it was earlier in the month so when you work um with paper charting they only have like that month you can't go back and look at what the person had like a week ago because say you're on like the third day of the month there's no month before because it's paper chart like that i don't even know where the paper was from the month before so i can't really give him a full picture of how that person's sugar has been you know over the past week or whatever but from what i had seen it seemed like his sugar hadn't been really that high but i checked it and when i told you i checked it, i checked it twice on two different hands so i was like let me check this again it was still in the 500s and like i said he was communicating like nothing else was happening so anywho um so this happened talked to the doctor he gave me an order to do something okay so i do that and then the man he kind of shaky or whatever he's walking back to his room and i was like looking at i was like is this how he usually is he's like oh yeah this how he this how he walk that's how he is all the time i said like, okay and then so i don't know maybe a two hours or whatever has passed he on the floor i'm like what the heck it was like he's on the floor he's kind of like he's out of it he's sweating i'm like what the like come on y'all so i'm checking his sugar the man's sugar is like super low like below 50. what the heck it was just at 500 like a few hours ago okay so this is happening i freaking give him like some i am um sugar or glucagon and you know assess him and do like that i talk i'm trying to talk to him get his vitals all this good stuff anywho call the doctor have to keep calling the doctor just because i'm like we need to do labs we need to do something because it's something ain't right with him he's like are you sure the machine is working right this that, and the third and we check a different machine it's still the same like it was a lot going on granted i will say that even though all this was happening there was another nurse so they said they have like a ward clerk so or whatever you call her anywho she was the person who she would go between both units and she would help the nurses out and do paperwork so if you had a fall she'd do all your fall paperwork call the doctor make your nurses know all that good stuff um she said when the admissions come she do the admission she said when doctors come in right order she take the orders i'm like okay girl thank you so she was helping me out and i was like you know you know this patient more than i do to me it seemed like he got something going on some type of infection something is happening 
that's affecting his sugars because I know for a fact what his sugar was this morning before he ate and it's, it wasn't like something ain't right. So anywho, we end up having to send him out. So okay, that happens. Yeah, the lady falls again. So <laughs> I'm like, y'all need to do something. Y'all need to get this lady some activity, something. She needs something to help her to, you know, be distracted. She needs some type of diversional activities to help her because you know if this keep happening who knows what's gonna happen with her like y'all need to implement something some nursing intervention needs to happen so anyways granted let me go back a little bit further when i tell y'all i had like 20 accu checks it was crazy i was like this is ridiculous all these accu checks i don't see how i was expected to do all those accu checks on top of um giving medication so i'm glad that cmt gave the medication because that was crazy but um, towards the end of the day, the, uh, the war clerk was like, oh, you know, this never happens. Today has been super eventful. Like, I've been here for all these years. We have never had a day like that had this much happen. I'm like, really? Like, when I come here, that's when things get lit. Like, really? She's like, but usually it's super chill. Da, 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 da. Like, okay. You know, I don't mind going back to that facility because, like I said, everyone was super nice and helpful. Like, I didn't get, like, a lot of like attitude i didn't get that so i don't know if it was the shift the day or the vibe i don't know but it seemed pretty chill so i would go back there um i left on time okay it was cool i ain't gonna lie it was cool so it was just like i was like if i had to do this i could have stayed at my job because this is exactly how it is a regular day at my job you know people run into buildings people falling people gotta get sent to the hospital like this is a regular day you know so i was like i could have did this at my job but i wasn't gonna make that pay so i was like, okay let me just go ahead and stay here um so it was cool i would do it again you know let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about agency because like i said i'm gonna be doing another video about how i got into agency but um yeah that's what happened that's how my day was it was cool i felt like okay I got this because even though you be like I don't know any of these people like I don't know anything like oh my goodness how am I gonna do this like you are who you are so a nurse is a nurse is a nurse like no matter where I'm at I'm a rocket and that's what I gotta tell myself like you have to like amp yourself up like I know my job no matter if I know the patient or not I'll get to know them by the end of the shift I knew them you know what I'm saying of course me going there more and more I will get to know people more and more oh so something else y'all so i had a patient who um she had a trach and i hadn't had a patient who had a trach since like my first year out of nursing school so like years ago but anyways she had a trach and then a respiratory therapist had came in and she was so nice y'all oh my gosh so she was showing me like this new system of how you suction people and all this other stuff and we was just talking i was asking her about where she worked at girl i'm like okay i need to see her again i need to interview her for this channel like i need to find this girl for real but she was so nice i was like you know this and there we was talking about this talking about that she was showing me so i was like yeah and then i showed her like the thing i was like this is not hooked there right it, it can't be she's like no it's not i said yeah let's fix this because i came in like this ain't this setup ain't right something with this setup ain't right so anyways we fixed it the residents seemed cool whatever um and i was so glad i met her because i like i said i hadn't had a trach patient in a minute so i was glad that i had a patient who did have a trach in place and that i was able to get kind of like in service on something especially like some new ways of doing stuff so i i felt good and to the point where when the nurse who uh relieved me so the nurse that relieved me worked agency too so she was like oh yeah girl da, 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 da. i was like yeah so how, how do you like agency da, da. she's like it's good da, da, da. i said yeah because that's where i'm working that's what i'm here for she's like oh you you agency too girl I was like yeah she's like oh girl you know so anyways I had showed her how to do the suction like the new way it's supposed to be done and I don't even think it's new like it's new for me because I hadn't it's like a closed system as far as like how to suction them I'm used to you actually have to take it out of the freaking container like a brand new suction and suction that way and, but it was like all closed in like it was interesting but anyway so I was showing her how to do it and giving her all the things that the girl had taught me she's like oh, okay cool because I didn't know girl I didn't know so anyways um it was cool I don't mind it I will go there again when I do go there again um, I feel like it'd be best for me to work on the other side of the building because I can get to know those patients so that if I keep going there I will just know everybody because I'm a float nurse anyway so I'm used to just getting in where I'm fitting and just 
hey you just gotta work on the fly be flexible be confident and you'll be okay like you're a nurse you're a CNA whatever the case you are like no matter what where you go you'll do well like just do your job you know so anyway <sighs> that's what happened I hope you all enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe support your fave nurse B make sure you join the your fave nurse B Facebook group follow me on Instagram and also on snapchat if you want also if you're interested in my personal life as a mother as a vegan vegetarian uh, as a person with locks all that good stuff you interested in my lifestyle you want to know how your fave nurse B is living go check me out on my second channel stay forever true um all right y'all thanks for watching peace